Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel, my name is Megan. Today I've got such an exciting video for you guys, it is yet another reading vlog. If you guys have been on booktube for a hot minute, if you've just watched any booktubers, I'm sure you have come across the video topic, the video of 24 hour readathon or reading for 24 hours. Listen, I am so intimidated by that video idea, partially because unfortunately I am still in school, which means the only time I can really do that is during the weekend and like it just sounds exhausting to like take that time like 24 hours out of my weekend and then go back to school so that video is for the summertime that will come hopefully it will come but anyways um i do however love the concept of seeing how many books i can actually read within a 24 hour span and i feel like as well as i'm going to be able to understand the books more if i'm actually like not just reading straight through right next to me i have kind of an ambitious TBR but it might not be an ambitious because I don't know how many books I can actually read in 24 hours so I have a few books here that I want to get to in this video so we're gonna go over them pretty quickly because I don't want my intro to be too long I have the third book of Percy Jackson I have not read this book I really it's just I don't know why, but I just haven't read it. Ricochet by Becca and... No. Close. Krista and Becca. Richie. I read Addicted to You in my last reading vlog. And I really want to read this. I've been... Every single time I go to read a... Vi like, a... Every single time I go to read a book, I'm like hold on this would be really good in a youtube video and that's my biggest problem but anyways i really want to read this this is a shorter book it's almost 300 it's shorter than the first book so this will be pretty easy to go through i want to read this first and then maybe percy jackson to kind of like split it up or i might just read the third book the next book i want to read magnolia parks i really want to get to this um, I might even start with this book. I'm not too sure yet. Or I might go with Ricochet. I I don't know. I don't know. But I really want to read this. Especially I want to vlog like my reactions to this book. And then we have The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I want to get to this because I've had this in my TBR for so long. And I want to read it. And um, yeah, it's just... I don't know why, but... I, th I really want to get to this book too. I want to get to a lot of these books. However, I think Percy Jackson might be the bottom list. Like, I think a 100% going to start with Ricochet. It's between these two. Oh, I'm probably not going to read tonight. It's Friday night. Um, but I will keep a track of a timer on my phone. And... Without further ado, let's just get into this video because I'm so excited. Good morning, guys. It is officially Saturday, and in order to actually succeed in this 24 hour readathon and to make sure that I actually don't spend like two weeks on this, I need to start it out now. I am making breakfast right now, so while I'm waiting for that, because it's cinnamon rolls, it needs to rise. I've officially decided I'm gonna start out by reading The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. This is my oldest book. I've had it for so long and I have not read it. So I wanna read it. I've been watching some edits and seeing some quotes which are kinda of getting me hyped for it. So I'm gonna be starting this. And then after this, I'll probably read Percy Jackson because it's kind of like a break from this book. like. A big fantasy and then goes to something easy to read like Percy Jackson after Percy Jackson though I'm not too sure what I might read I might read the rest of the series or I don't really know we'll see 
I also do have one more book that I didn't tell you guys about that I might read because it's a standalone. So we're gonna get to reading this, we're gonna get my timer started, and we're going to have fun! I have to take this off. I can't read with the hardcover. sucks but we're at about 30 minutes of reading um it is currently 11 30. i haven't been reading for 30 minutes straight um i am officially on page 35 of the invisible life of addie larue and i'm really enjoying this book so far i honestly can't give you guys big like that much of an update because nothing's really happening we're kind of just getting introduced to adeline and her young life as well as just kind of getting used to like what's happening um not much to say i really like the writing like the writing in this feels so like comforting like i'm really enjoying this and i think i'm really going to enjoy this book i'm gonna continue reading um i might change my shirt because if you can see i have this really big like bump I thought it was a pimple, but it's not a pimple. I, like, pinched myself using my headphones. But, um, yeah, I'm going to continue reading. I've highlighted so much so far. I think I relate to Addie Adeline a lot. Like, I see myself in her. So, I think I'm going to also enjoy this book so much because I relate to her. But I bet you got friends on the side of your car how you walk Got me thinking you know you the shit though you would never talk about it Maybe we could talk about it Lost According to somebody you, you just roaming the block Roaming the block Soft this is debut Megan with a hat. Can you tell I just went shopping? Cause I'm literally like a little kid testing out stuff that I just bought. That is literally me. Like I just bought this necklace, just bought this hat, just bought this shirt. But anyways, that's not why we are here. So I have been reading for about 40 minutes, actually exactly 40 minutes. Um, it is now six o'clock. I went shopping and then I got distracted. This challenge is going to be so much harder, but not much has happened. However, we do learn how she ended up at the point where she is now. So we're jumping between when she was a kid versus 2014, I think is the date. 1714 is the past time, and then 2014 is the present time. We figure out how she ended up in the situation she is now, and how she also deals with it in present time. So that's my update for now. I know this challenge is gonna be so hard because I'm literally almost an hour in and it's Saturday night. Summer rain on a window 
Watch the time float on Cool air blows a memento As I fall like nothing really important has really happened um i know we're getting to an interesting part which i am so excited to read as i've mentioned we got introduced to one potential love interest henry um i know we're getting to an interesting part as i said that deals with henry so i'm so excited um it's a really nice day out so i'm gonna go back to reading outside um we still like <laughs> we have so much time left and it's Sunday. This video is going to take me forever. Oh my gosh. But this book is so good. It's definitely interesting. It's keeping me wondering what's happened next. Which makes me kind of wonder why people are saying this is slow. Because I'm really enjoying it. Like, I think it's really good paced. Not much has happened. But, like, I like that we're slowly getting into the storyline. And the quotes. I feel so bad for her. I'm going to continue reading. I'm not going to take my camera outside, but I have been filming a little bit on my phone. We have officially been reading for eight hours. Got a lot more reading done today, which I'm incredibly grateful for. I am currently on page 156 of Addie LaRue. Something has changed in the book, the event I was talking about, I think last clip of me talking, that important part happened. We are also introduced to the other love interest, Luke, which um, I had a feeling I knew who he was from watching like edits, like None of the quotes were presented in like edits and stuff, but like the energy just gave me the same kind of thing. I have no strong opinion on either love interest. I do think I lean towards Henry because we've seen him more, but Addie and Luke are kind of like, I, I, I don't know if you wouldn't even, yeah, enemies to lovers, I guess. Like, she doesn't like him. She, and then he's like intrigued with her and like bothering her. And if you read the book, you'll understand why but like trying to explain it without giving spoilers is extremely difficult but um i'm really enjoying this book <laughs> i have no updates for you guys because in all honesty nothing much has really happened we're getting more present time i kind of prefer the present time um setting rather than the old time like um i feel like i just prefer that better but we're officially like 30 percent into this book um, and I still have a lot more time to go through. <laughs> 16 hours left. But I think I'm going to be able to finish this, honestly. Um, and we'll start a new book. I think I might only get through two books this video. I have terrible news, guys. For some odd reason, it restarted my timer. So now I have to sit here for eight hours and let it run to get back to what I was originally at. I was, I'm gonna just round it up to eight hours. I know I was like maybe 10 minutes above that, 
but I'm probably not going to read anything today because, like I said, that got messed up and I just don't feel like reading today. Which means this video goes on for yet another day. I, the fourth day. I'm falling to pieces in my room Are you coming over? That's cool I could use a little something to do Go outside, take a little ride if you want to. That's cool. I did what I was supposed to. There's nothing left for me to do. So now I'm walking out my head through open windows. Cause that's what I feel like. Do it tonight. Waking up my brain, maybe you can do the same. You want me to say something? I come. You know, it's been a stressful day when I have Celsius in my hand. I don't even have it to the front. Celsius. Um, so guys, I haven't updated you guys in a while, and, um, I don't really have an update about the book. It's my, my opinions haven't changed. Um, not much has happened, so. But anyways, I let it run fully yesterday, so I didn't read really anything yesterday, and I got it back to 8, and, um, this morning I read a little bit because I didn't have like school until like 10:50, so I got like 30 more minutes so I still have so much time to go and I've been filming this video for like four days now like Saturday I started Friday but I didn't read so Saturday Sunday Monday Tuesday um I've also been watching like a show 911 and 911 Lone Star the finales are tonight so well 911 was last night. No, no. Lone Star is tonight. But anyways, I'm gonna read some more now as much as I can. Um, I do have other things that I want to do. I am sharing my updates right now. We are about 9 hours 30 minutes, so I've been reading for an hour now. Um, so I am on almost page 200 of Addie LaRue. And my update, why I just randomly stopped halfway through this chapter to update you guys, is because I was, like, thinking to myself, I honestly do not like Addie and Luke. Like, Luke? Yeah, Luke. Oh, you see, I don't... Yeah. <laughs> Luce? Luce? Luke? We're gonna go with Luke. Um, I think that I understand why people like them. It's like that enemies to lovers... I don't know if this is spoilers or not, talking about this. I don't like them. I I think that their relationship is something that you just, like, you want to like because of that tension. But I think, honestly, seeing her with Henry just shines, like, so much of a happier relationship than what we've seen with Addie and Luke, even though we haven't really seen them. However, I do want to see more of that relationship because, like, so far, really, like, he's basically just, like, that's my update for now. I don't know if that's a spoiler. I'm sorry if it is. I don't, I hate talking about books because I don't know if it's a spoiler or not. I'm at the point in the book, however, though, I understand why people say it's slow because, honestly, I feel like we're getting nowhere, like. You're officially 11 hours into this challenge, and I have finished The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. Oh my god, this book was like a world on like just so many different emotions put into one book. This book, I don't even know how to describe it genuinely. It was a very good book. V.E. Schwab really makes you just want to like scream because you feel so bad for Addie throughout this entire book. Like you feel so much for her. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. I didn't really enjoy it as much as I wanted to. The ending to me wasn't satisfactory because in my books that's not the happy ending that I wanted, which I I can't blame it. Um, I still don't really like her relationship with Luke. 
like you can tell she does not love him and you figure out you see that through the entire book i'm gonna give this a 3.5 stars the ending just wasn't it just feels like the ending needs to be changed and it's because it's not the happy ending that i wanted it to be so for that reason this is a 3.5 stars which kind of sucks but it definitely is a slow book um and when i say it really starts to it doesn't even really build up like a something that keeps you wanting to read it like that doesn't even come into the book like halfway through you start to get like that tension but like you expect it to like come crashing like a very big tension this book just doesn't have that um but regardless it was still a really good book i love her writing so much i just think that it's not the kind of book that i like it is officially the next day is wednesday I am going to be reading Percy Jackson. I figured I have more chances of finishing this book than like starting Magnolia Parks. And I want to make sure that I can read that full book like in a video and have like my full reactions to it. So I'm going to read Percy Jackson. I probably won't update you guys much about this book because I am book, I'm at book three. And I usually don't have strong opinions about these kind of books. I don't know. So I'm going to start reading very soon. Um, I don't feel like I'm going to get much reading today because I'm pretty tired. And I kind of have a, have a headache. So we'll see. Percy Jackson book three. Uh, it's a short. These books are so easy to read. It would definitely help me pass the time. Especially since I'm not really in the mood to read anything right now. So... I know I said I'm not going to update that much on Percy Jackson, but I thought I would anyways because something interesting has happened. I'm on page 34. I haven't made much progress, but we have been finally introduced to Nico, and he's so cute. I, To me, for some reason, it didn't even occur to me that he was that young in this book. I honestly should have just done the regular 24-hour readathon because I'd be done by now. We are officially almost a week into this video, and are we? I started this Sunday, right? No, Friday. It's been a week, basically, and I'm only at 11 hours, so right now my plan is to absolutely dominate it and read. I have a doctor's appointment, so I don't have to go into school tomorrow, so I'm going to also take that free time to read. I'm going to get myself a drink, and we're just going to pound this out. Get over this challenge, because it's taken me a week. Brief book intermission to talk about this, star this like Starbucks copycat drink I've been making. It is so good, and it is so simple it is basically using the tazo iced passion tea mix it with lemonade add some ice and then add some like frozen dragon fruit it is absolutely delicious i know that's not the dragon fruit the frozen dragon fruit is not the starbucks but i'm trying to use up that frozen dragon fruit i have this is so good so refreshing who needs to pay for an expensive starbucks drink when you can make it at home and now I'm going to read Percy Jackson while I edit my YouTube video, while I render my YouTube video. Oh my god, my camera is going to die. But guys, look, I don't, I don't know how to make you guys see it. It's literally one, two, three, four. That's my views. Also, I'm going to have to charge my camera. I'll be back soon. I am officially on page 142 of Percy Jackson. I'm about 13 hours and 30 minutes through and I have decided... I'm not going to continue reading Percy Jackson in this video. I am going to continue reading it on my own time at a much slower pace. But honestly, I'm really bored and it's just like this challenge. I don't really want to be reading like a book that I don't enjoy or that's just like feels like it's nothing's happening. I don't know. Um... I feel like I would have enjoyed this as a kid, but now that I'm, like, older, I don't really care for it. Like, the writing's not really my style. I don't, I don't know. 
Um, but I am going to continue it because I have the whole series and I want to read it, mainly for Percy and Annabeth. Um, but yeah, I'll continue reading this, just not for this video because it's making time go so much slower. <laughs> We officially have four minutes left. Three! Three minutes. Three minutes. Oh, I turned it off! I feel like I need to film this not laying in bed. But I might do it anyways. Okay, I'll move. I'll move. So, guys, um, oh, my, my hair. What is wrong with my hair? Okay, oh my gosh. So, I filmed the outro for this video, and my head was like, this was like me in the film. Okay, it was awful. So, I'm refilming it after editing it. So, I actually... Despite literally saying that I'm not going to continue reading Percy Jackson, I I read it again because I, I hate DNFing books. So I ended up actually really enjoying it. I've heard, I've read some reviews that people said they had a little bit of a hard time getting into it as well. So I wasn't alone. I actually ended up really liking it. I am giving it a four stars. I think that it was really good. Um, however, the start of it, I just couldn't get into it. But that actually ends our 24-hour challenge. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy. And I will see you guys next week for my next video.